Valley View Mall has been a staple of the Cooley region for more than 40 years. However, an upcoming sale is making its future unclear. First News at Nine's Alex Loroff shares how shop owners are handling the uncertainty. Todd Wilson's business has called Valley View Mall home for the past 15 years, growing from a small kiosk to the 6,000 square foot popcorn shop. You know, we haven't had a problem bringing people into the store itself, and our traffic has actually increased every year. We get more and more people in our store. Made for You also started with a smaller setup before becoming a fixture of the mall. We, you know, used to be just a pop up, and we stayed here, and people are like, anxious that we're here. And they come here for all the unique gift ideas. The traffic has been quite well for us here. While the two locally owned shops have seen success at Valley View, the mall as a whole has fallen on hard times. We've seen, obviously, traffic drop consistently almost year after year. You see less and less people in the mall. And I think all malls have seen that to varying degrees. But it's definitely followed the trend of national retail. A judgment of foreclosure was issued to the mall's owners in November 2020. The land will be sold in a public auction next month. Wilson sees the impending sale as an opportunity for growth at Valley View. I'm pretty positive. I think the mall is going to be probably bought and operated as a mall. And it may even bring a buyer in that's willing to invest a little bit of money into the property to improve some things that have probably been neglected over the last 15 years. I'm real optimistic that we'll be operating in Valley View Mall next year. Managers have assured tenants the mall will operate as usual for the time being. Made for you owner Jenny Arnis hopes that's the case for the foreseeable future, saying the mall is needed in the Cooley region. Everybody's got a story to tell. So they're not just here shopping, they're interacting and they're sharing. And some people are telling you a funny story, and some people just their heart is broken and they just need somebody to listen. The sale does not include the high V being built on the northwest corner of the mall or the connected Lacrosse VA clinic. In Lacrosse, Alex Loroff. First news at 9. The public auction is set for March 8th at 10 a.m. It will be held in the center hallway of the Lacrosse Courthouse and Law Enforcement Center.